So on my other videos, and I've seen it asked quite a lot online, there's a lot of people who have struggled to use the CR Max to connect to older vehicles or vehicles that aren't listed in the uh, diagnostics make list. So if I go back one here. So when you go to diagnostics, you're presented with all of the, 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 makes, of, the, the makes of vehicles, the manufacturers, and you will pick the one that you need. Um, if your manufacturer isn't listed, say Ivoco, or you've got an old, I don't know, an old BMW or an old VW that does have an OBD2 port, a 16-pin port, and does support the OBD2 protocols, or at least one of them, what you can do is you can scroll down this list till you get to the O, and then you've got OBD, so just before Opal, just after Nissan, we get OBD, and what it would do is it would try all of the protocols, which we'll see listed here in a second on the bottom of the screen, as it goes through. So it will try all the different ISO and KWP protocols until it finds one that works. And when it finds one that matches, we should go in to some basic diagnostics. There we go. So we're just doing engine diagnostics on this one. And it goes in here and we can see um, if we've got an engine management light on, some other various options. Click OK. We can read codes and we can check basically some of the freeze frame data. But it is very basic. But if you need to get in and read codes and clear codes on an older vehicle or one that isn't listed and you're only interested in the engine, then this will work for you. It will be a very basic level of diagnostics. I don't have any codes on here at the moment, but yeah, there you go. If you need to get in and clear an engine fault code on a car that's not listed, that's how you do it.